So hey guys, welcome to the channel learning competitive programming with CodeChef. So if you want to learn competitive programming and get good hold on data structures and algorithm, this is the one stop destination for you. Every week there are several videos coming on for the CodeChef contest as well as a lot of videos for the explanation of difficult concepts of competitive programming. So if you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification. So myself, Chirayud Jain, I am a CodeChef educator. The problem that we are going to take today is pay me and it has the code that is some pause and the prerequisites of the problem is none. Okay, so let's discuss the problem statement of the question pair me. So basically what is given is chef is always trying to find the pattern within the integers, right? Today, chef has three positive integers, right? And he wonders if any one of them can be written as the sum of the two other two integers, right? So basically we have been given three integers like here we can see there are five test cases involved so what are the test cases uh, uh we have been given five entries right so the, the the three positive integers are present in the five entries so it has been mentioned in the input that first line will contain five test cases right and each test case contains a single input of three spaced integers that are x y and z right so in these three integers we need to find that whether one is uh, any one is the sum of any other two integers right so for example here we can see that the two is the sum of the remaining two integers that is one and one three is the uh, sum of the remaining two integers that is two and one here we cannot find any integer which is the sum of the remaining two integers right here also we cannot find because the sum of 100 and 100 is 200 not 201 so we cannot find any integer which is the sum of the remaining two integers right and here we can find that 11 and 22 are the sum uh, sum sub to 33 which is the third integer so uh, accordingly we need to output that if any integer is the sum of the remaining two then we need to output yes otherwise we need to output no so this is the question and in the input we have been given that what are the entries that we have in the output what we need to do we need to uh, output that if it is uh, any one of the integers sum of the remaining two then we need to output yes in caps and otherwise we need to output no in caps this is a question and it is a very simple question so basically uh, the problem is for the starters who are initiating with the competitive programming and just exploring the world of competitive programming so it's a very easy approach so let's discuss this approach uh, and then finally code the solution okay so let's discuss the approach of the problem so we have been given three integer that is x y and z and we need to check that whether any one is the sum of the remaining two integers so what can be the approach we can try all the uh, possible combinations that x plus y if x plus y is equals to z or y plus z equals to x or x plus z equals to y so we can check all the uh, possible combinations and see whether any one of them holds true if any one of them holds true then we can output yes if none of them holds true then we could output no so this is the first thing that we can do while reading the question right but a more efficient approach or a more simpler approach would be that the integer which is the sum of the remaining two must be greater than uh, the both uh, must be greater than the integers which are present right so what we can do let let us suppose that if we have the constraints like this two two and four right so first of all what we need to do that to check whether an integer is the sum of the remaining two we can sort this particular array because the number which is present at the last would be the greatest number and it is only the number which can be the sum of the remaining two because it is the largest number right so it is only the number which can be the sum of the remaining two so what we can do we can sort the array out and then check that the first and the second value sums up to the third value and if this condition is yes then what we will do will output yes otherwise we will output no so it is a very easy approach that first of all we'll enter the values in the array and then we'll sort the array because after the sorting the integers will come in the ascending order and then we'll check the last value that if this value is the sum of these two values right so if it is then we'll output yes otherwise we'll output no so it is the approach which is of on the side of less coding because we'll uh, first of all we'll sort the array and then we'll check with one if condition that this condition is true but also this can uh, this approach is uh, uh, a bit lengthy like in terms of coding if we write the if condition for that because we need to uh, write three conditions to check but this is also the efficient approach right so in 
uh, both of the approach you can find out the answer that the answer will be correct but you can solve as per your wish with any of the above approaches so the approach is quite simple just we need to figure out that which two integers are the uh, produce the sum of the uh, the third one so we'll sort the array and then we'll take the sum of the first and the second one and then check that if the third one matches with the sum of these two and if yes we'll output yes right so this is the clear cut approach of this a particular problem so now let's more focus on how do we code this particular solution because for the newcomers it is sometimes difficult to code this solution out so we'll try out that how we can efficiently code this problem out in c plus plus okay so now we are writing the code at the code chef id platform and now let's start the code right so first of all instead of ice cream ice cream what we can do is we can use bits stdc plus plus dot h because it contains all the library inbuilt functions which are present in the c plus plus in this particular one bits dot slash stdc plus plus dot h instead of iostream and including other files what we can do that we can include this particular thing and everything every library in s is in c plus plus mostly which we use in comparative programming is included right so this is the first thing now what we need to do first of all as mentioned in the problem we need to have the test cases so we'll enter the test cases right so we have taken the test cases and we'll use a while loop here for each test case so while t minus minus what it indicates is that while t does not encounter zero while it is greater than zero we'll see all the test cases and then when it encounters zero this while loop will end right so in this particular thing, in uh, each test case, what do we have? We have three values. So the first approach will be uh, that if we can take all the three values, that is X, Y, and Z, and check all the conditions, all the combinations that we have figured out in the approach. But what we can do is we can take the array because the constraints are pretty low. So what we can do, we can take the array of size three, right? And for each value, <coughs> For each value of this array, we'll run a for loop and we'll input the values that is x, y, z in this array. So x denotes array at position uh, 0, y denotes array at position 1 and uh, z, z denotes array at position 2. So uh, make a clear cut in the mind that the position 1 is represented by the index 0 in this array. Right? So array has 0 based indexing. So the position 1 says that I'll be at position 0 in that index and in, at index 0 the value first is stored right so always keep in mind that the indexing is 0 based over here so when we are inputting the value we are uh, initiating the loop from 0 so at position 0 the first value will be stored at position 1 the second uh, at index 2 the second value will be stored and at index uh, at index 1 the second value will be stored and at index 2 the third value will be stored so this is clear that the array has 0 based indexing now what we need to do we need to apply sorting so simply we'll use the sort function that is sort and what we'll mention array comma the the signature of array and its size that is three right so the array will be sorted in the increasing order and we'll get the maximum value at its last right now we'll apply a simple if condition that if if array at position two at index two that means the third value is equals to the values of first and second that means the first and the second value which are which are at index 0 and at index 1 so that means the first two value the sum of the first two values is equal to the last value that is the third value what we'll do we'll output yes Otherwise, what we'll do will output no. Right, so this is the major code, and we can check this for the given custom input that we have in the problem, right? So we can paste the custom input over here and we can run it. Okay, so these are giving the perfect values on this particular sample case. So now let's try to run this particular code on the Code Chef platform okay so these are very basic problems in the competitive programming but if you want to explore more about these basic problems and want to reach the heights in the competitive programming an academy is the best platform for you 
so what you can do is just go and download the unacademy app and there are a lot of free content over there you can get access to these free content and you can use my referral code that is chirayu jain while registration at an academy platform so there are a lot of good educators who are world class achievers in the competitive programming they'll teach you these basic concepts as well as they'll raise the bar to the difficult concepts for you in the an academy platform so at a certain point of time you will free uh, you will feel very ease in competitive programming so you can go and download the an academy app and if you want the plus subscription you can take that as well let's paste the code and click on submit and the solution is accepted.